What are the most significant potential negative effects in delaying treatment initiation for hepatitis C infected patients? I think that as a phys physician charged with the care of somebody with uh, chronic liver disease, in this case chronic hepatitis C, there's enormous pressure to do something. Uh, you know, regardless of, of the, the issue that you're facing, you want to do something to make it better. And so I think that uh, when it comes to delaying therapy in a context where you know you have effective treatments that are available to the patient, uh, you see all the ogres under the bed. And the big question comes up as what is the material effect on the patient's health assuming that they're going to be treated at some point, of delaying between now and that unknown point. So how long will it take before I have a treatment that I believe is acceptable for this individual? And as a result of waiting that period of time, will the person begin to develop clinical symptoms of, the, of a disease that in most individuals is asymptomatic most of the time? We, the only reason why we're interested in treating hepatitis C is because eventually it makes people sick and, and can lead to their deaths, whereas the vast majority of people who have the infection don't feel sick. And uh, so I think that the, the adverse effect of waiting is, is fear uh, of all of these things. There really isn't a lot of data that treating somebody over the short period, that is uh, making somebody aviremic in June rather than next January, will really affect the course of their uh, disease, that as a result of this therapy, they're going to be less likely to develop cirrhosis or probably minimally so, but or less likely to develop a, a complication of cirrhosis uh, including portal hypertension or, or hepatocellular carcinoma, or even some of the other uh, less well understood effects of having chronic hepatitis C virus infection. For example, its effect on diabetes. Is it, is it really going to make a material difference to that patient to be aviremic in January of 2014 versus January of 2015? taken within the context that they, most of these individuals have had this infection for decades. So uh, I think that a lot of the adverse effect really is, the, is its intrusion into the, the mind of the patient, the mind of the doctor, where uh, the patient is worried that something bad is going to happen to them. The doctor is worried that they're going to fail in their responsibility to the patient. Um, rather than, than any provable effect on their actual health. And it's, that's one of the reasons why I think uh, that the patient's preference is very important in deciding when and how they're treated.